The Philippine Coast Guard PCG, on Wednesday received a hybrid drone from the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime UNODC, to be used in conducting surveillance missions. In a statement, the PCG said the drone, prototyped by Dodeca's research and development team, is the first hybrid vertical takeoff and landing drone built by Filipinos to be owned and operated by the Philippine government. The equipment will be used to enhance the country's monitoring capabilities for its coasts and shorelines, the statement read. The PCG expressed its gratitude for the new drone, which will be deployed by the Coast Guard Aviation Force. In a post on its Facebook page, the PCG said the drone turned over by the UN Office on Drugs and Crime was developed by the research team of Mandaluyong headquartered Dodeca drones and will be used by the Coast Guard Aviation Force which also previously received five Aerovironment RQ-20 Puma drones from the U.S. We look forward to continuing this partnership as we work together to navigate the future of maritime law enforcement, Coast Guard Admiral Artemio Abu, PCG Commandant, said of the UNODC's assistance in improving its law enforcement capabilities. Although more often in the news for its search and rescue operations and for patrols in the West Philippine Sea, the Coast Guard is the country's primary maritime law enforcement agency and is active in the campaigns against smuggling and against illegal drugs. Dodeca is a local company with remotely operated aircraft system operators certified by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines COP, that offer drone services, solutions, and training. Earlier, four Coast Guard Aviation Force CGAF, finished the 15-day Unmanned Aerial System UAS, training conducted by the Joint United States Military Assistance Group, Philippines. They underwent a comprehensive theoretical phase and received actual flight experience through testing the capabilities, limitations, and operability of AUAS. The company said in a social media release that the drone will enhance our country's monitoring capabilities, ensuring safe coasts and shorelines. As a background, the United States government granted five, five Puma Unmanned Aerial Systems UAS, to the Philippine Coast Guard PCG, through the U.S. Grant Assistance Building Partner Capacity BPC, programs. Because of this development, the Joint U.S. Military Assistance Group JUSMAG, Philippines has extended an invitation to the PCG through the Office of the Deputy Chief of Coast Guard Staff for Education and Training CG-12 to train four, four, operators for the said UAS. The scheduled 15-day training program started on the 19th of June and concluded last the 3rd of July 2023. The completion of this training greatly aids to the operational capabilities of the force, potentially adding another reliable division in the form of the UAS. The training program completed a theoretical phase and actual flying training wherein the classroom instructions were conducted at headquarters, Coast Guard Aviation Force. Moreover, the training program also highlighted the 30-year tripartite agreement between the province of Bataan, Kamaya Coast and the PCG as Kamaya Coast hosted the flight training phase of the program which proved to be the more integral one. With the usual support of the Kamaya Coast management, the students were able to put their theoretical knowledge to action, as they gained actual flight experience through testing the capabilities, limitations and operability of the UAS. We remain committed to our promises on helping modernize the armed forces of the Philippines, and we hope this will further strengthen our combined capabilities in working together towards a free and open Indo-Pacific," said CDA Varieva. The United States provides the AFP with grant assistance and expedited sales of arms and munitions to support its modernization goals and urgent maritime security, counterterrorism and humanitarian assistance, and disaster relief requirements. The Philippines is by far the largest recipient of U.S. military assistance in the Indo-Pacific region. Since 2015, the United States has delivered more than PHP $50.6 billion, $1.06 billion, worth of planes, ships, armored vehicles, small arms, and other military equipment to the Philippines, while training side-by-side -side with our Filipino allies.